Hi everyone, welcome to episode 6. Today I'm going to be in the Vetter Stone Quarry, talking to Ron Vetter. Hi Ron, I'm Chloe. Great to meet you Chloe, welcome to the quarry. Thank you. So Chloe, I want to show you the quarry up here a little bit. So the material that's on Bridge Plaza is getting quarried right from here. So when you look at that material top to bottom, that's a ledge that's about six feet tall. And we figure that each inch of forming that material took about 2,500 to 5,000 years to form each inch of stone. And so on the top part, that they, the overburden they took off, that's all kind of punky and fractured up. But this is a material that, that is suitable for using on buildings. So we use that saw, which is a German-made chainsaw, and also do a lot of wire sawing. So we have diamond wires that are cutting through the material. That process is already done. You can see those the vertical lines where that's been cut, those have all been cut. Basically, it's like cutting a cake. And then a big 100,000 pound capacity loader will come in and carry those blocks away. Most of the blocks that we're taking out here um, will be, weigh about 20 tons. And we figure that this material, this material was formed about 450 million years ago and was at the bottom of the ocean at one point. So it's a sedimentary material. So you can see some lines going in at horizontal lines. And those lines are from just layer of sediment building on, on top of layer. And then there was enough, enough heat and pressure that formed the material that turned it into a solid block. So Chloe, we don't know of anywhere in the world where you get this many colors in a really small ge geological area. There's about 750 acres out here. When the glacier came through the Mankato area, it took out a three mile wide stretch by about 100 feet deep, giving us access to this stone. It isn't really uncovered anywhere else in the world. So this gives you a pretty good idea of the size of the block in comparison to you. So remember, each inch of that took 2,500 to 5,000 years to form it was building up. So we do drilling to do the splitting in one side. So these yeah. drills will go down and then they'll put in a hydraulic splitter and it actually makes it break right across that line. And over here, we did the, the sawing with the diamond wire. So that's why it's really nice and smooth. It's a diamond wire that's going through. Oh, so we typically fine. will quarry one way in one direction, one way in the other direction, because we can make better use of the material. We and can work like around imperfections. Yeah. So Chloe, after this part, the material is all segregated and sorted. So when we get a job, any job might have a really specific color range and it might use the entire range of say a four or five foot high block, or it might use a certain portion of that. So maybe they want the lighter portion, the darker portion, or maybe they want everything. So from there, we'll have somebody come out from the plant. They'll pick out every single block. We'll bring those blocks into the quarry. We put them in a saw that's got an 11 and a half foot blade on it. It's all diamond tip. So we're cutting those into whatever thickness it needs. Oftentimes, and on Bridge Plaza, that's two inch thick material. So the blade will drop down on the Minnesota stone two inches, and it cuts across at 12 and a half feet per minute. So pretty quick cutting. From there, we get the thickness of slabs that we need bring it up to the production part. A slab will tip over and go onto the conveyor system, and then that'll get a really nice finish on it because that 11 and a half foot saw puts kind of a rough texture to it. From there, it'll go in, into an automatic sawing system. So it'll do what we call a ripping cut in one direction. The table will turn 90 degrees. It does a jointing cut. And so every panel on your job might be a different size. Sometimes there's repetition, which we have on your project. Sometimes every panel is a different size. So you gotta be very specific but very, very precise cutting for really big panels, but really important to the installers on the job. Yeah. So from there, there's always an anchoring system. And typically it means putting in a slot in the side of the two inch thick stone. So you have machines that will go in and, and do a slot. And then from there, when that material is turned on the building, there will be a stainless steel strap anchor that goes in and it holds it from falling off or getting pushed into the building. And then from there, you might have some piece might need, it might be exposed on the edge, so you might have to do some edge finishing so you get rid of the saw marks on there. Might have some little carving detail in it. Maybe there's a, a number, an address number. Sometimes we'll do really fancy carvings where it's like a lion's head that's kind of protruding out of the building. And then cool. you'll see an area where there's workers that are taking out like really small little hand tools and cleaning out corners where we have to get a really nice fine corner, something that can't be done by a machine. So a lot of different work processes and work centers within the plant. So Chloe, you see on the building down in the bottom, we have what we call our glacier buff. That's the Minnesota stone. Goes over to the right and then up at the tower on the right. So that's what we saw getting quarried out in the big block, in the 20 ton block form. 
And then the lighter color material is what we quarry in the big underground quarry in Alabama. And that was selected very specifically for the architect's design to get as much activity in the pieces as we can. And that's why you see some of that dark veining. Yeah, it's beautiful, coming along so quickly. And really nice to use the two in combination, just a nice contrast with the materials. And it was so cool seeing it, just seeing it as like a block of stone. And then seeing it getting sanded down and redone and cut it and it just looks amazing. Thank you, Ron, for meeting me today and informing me about this amazing stone and for the project, it looks beautiful. Thank you, thanks for your time and going through the quarry, through the production plant, coming down here to look at it. Kind of a fun story to tell start to finish and, and start with a 450 million year old material sitting in the ground and get it up here and realize the architects and designers and owners vision. Thank you for watching episode six. I really hope you enjoyed learning all about the quarry and the stone and how it fits into the process. Stay tuned for episode seven.